Welcome to the Unordered and Ordered Partitions Calculator for MathCelebrity.com. To get to this calculator, you can actually run your problem right from the search engine. If you run, if you run something like this, we always assume unordered partitions. If you want ordered, you type the word ordered in front of it. So we'll go ahead and run 10 partitions of 5 to start with. We press the calculator. Now, if you're on the calculator running your problem from here directly, this box is the total population, and this box represents the number of people you want, people or items you want in each grouping. So the first thing we're going to do is calculate k, and k is just n divided by m. The next thing we're going to do is run our formula. This is our unordered partitions formula. So what the calculator does is it simplifies and breaks down the factorials, and we come up with 126 unordered partitions. Let's go ahead and calculate ordered partitions. So we'll just press the ordered button. Now, if you wanted to run that problem from the search engine, like I said before, you just type the word ordered in front of partitions. So for ordered partitions, we calculate k again, which is the same, which is 2. But then our formula changes a little bit. If there's ordered partitions, we get 252. Now let's run, run one more problem. Let's do 15 and 3. We'll do unordered partitions. This time k is 5. We run through our factorials and we get 1.401,400,000. What if we ran, scroll back down, what if we had ran ordered partitions? So press the ordered partitions button keeping our numbers 15 and 3 the same. Formula changes, and this time we get 16, 168 million. Pretty big number. So that's pretty much it. The calculator is fairly easy to use as well. We've got shortcuts for the search engine. If you've seen our videos before, we've got the Generate Practice Problem feature. If this is your first Mass Celebrity video, let me show you what this does. You press the button once and it gives you a random problem that you can run. You press either of these buttons. You press it again, it generates a completely random problem again. It's a pretty cool feature to keep your skills sharp when you run out of problems in your textbook. If you do have any questions or enhancement suggestions, please use the contact us link. Thanks for watching.